So I'm going to log in. I'm going to arrive at Prosperity. We're going to use nearby chat. Then we're going to teleport to a location. And we're going to look at using landmarks and also looking at getting the coordinates such, such as from a house um, at a specific location in an area. So to log in I'm clicking my Second Life viewer icon on my desktop taskbar and you may have it someplace else and I notice several things have happened and now the Second Life viewer is launching full screen and I enter my login username, password and start at location at the bottom of the viewer. I've logged in before so I'm going to leave my username and my password but I'm going to type prosperity to enter at the beginning point in the reception area. I click login. I see I'm logging in. The world's initializing. Several things are happening. We're connecting to the region. The world is loading. And here we are. We've arrived at pros prosperity. Now, if I didn't have any of these boxes open before, I'll just show you where they're located. I'm going to use the Walk Run Fly box located on the, I click the button at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to use that to walk around and fly. I'm going to use the chat button on the bottom to open up a conversations window or box. And I'm going to make sure I have nearby chat selected because I want to be able to chat with people that I'm close to if I encounter some folks singly or in groups. So I make sure I have nearby chat which means it's highlighted in green rather than orange or some something else. So now my first uh, task is to find the Tibetan area in Second Life. We want to go to the Tibetan area. Now if I've set a landmark for the Tibetan area before, if I've been there previously, I can go me, places, to bring up my landmarks, and I, if I have a Tibetan landmark, which I do, I would either double click twice on that landmark to get it to take me there or I could click teleport the button that's down on the bottom here and doing those two either of those two things double clicking a landmark or clicking teleport will now take me directly to that location if you don't have a landmark then we'll have to find the teleport that's nearby and use the teleport now I have a, I see the teleport actually here from this location and let's see if we can, act, can move to the teleport just from this spot. When I put my cursor on it it looks like a little chair so I'm going to click on it and yes that's possible. So we're now sitting in the teleporter and we have the teleport, teleporter menu come up with the buttons that enable us to go to different locations. So I'm going to click Tibetan and I'm going to step away from the teleporter and if you don't have a landmark here at this point it's probably a good idea to create one so that you can come directly here in the future to this spot or to some other spot. Let's put one in this spot for now and uh, to do that we will click the green star 
which adds to our landmarks and it adds the place right where we're standing and what we want to do, what we want to make sure is we put some text uh, associate some text with this landmark so we're going to type in in the title I'm going to click that box and add some text here I'm going to say uh, just a shorthand Tib for Tibetan and um, Tally for transport. So I know that's where the tally, uh, the tally porter is in the t in the Tibetan area. I'll just close that box for now. So let's just find a location in here to demonstrate um, getting the coordinates of a location, getting the slurl, getting the landmark, and we'll just pick a a spot here maybe near one of these homes come up between the trees and let's say we want to landmark this location then again we do the same as we did before we click the green star and we create a landmark let's just say uh, Tibetan land LDM landmark arbitrarily and we'll save that. Now if this was some distance away from the teleport and we wanted to get back to it what we can do is highlight the prosperity teleport um, landmark, the Tibetan landmark we just made and we can either quickly, quickly click twice on that, double click it or quick click teleport at the bottom. So let's quickly quick click this twice and you see we go back to the um, teleport location that we landmark that we just set. If we want to go back to the other landmark we'll select it and let's try teleport down at the bottom this time. Have a little bit of variety. We'll click the teleport button and it takes us to the location where we have just set the Tibetan teleport. Now if we want to um, copy the landmark information uh, or the slurl for this location and send it to someone, maybe in an email or even use it in our web browser, to get the slurl, remember, we click once on the bar at the top, it turns green and that is, now it's changed to HTTP something, that's the slurl, the Second Life URL and we can copy that by clicking uh, with the right mouse button and then copy and now it's on our clipboard on our computer so if we want to paste that into a document, I'll open up a document here, notepad I'll click on the document to make sure the cursor is flashing and then I'll use the control key, I'll hold that down and press V and it pastes the Second Life URL. So you could send this in an email or you could paste it into a web browser and, and come to this location via your web browser.